Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to create navigation bar in Flutter using Qubit. Let me show you the output first. As you can see in the output that we have one navigation bar with three navigation destinations, home, wishlist and profile. Currently, the home navigation destination is selected. If I click on wishlist, then wishlist is selected and accordingly this page, this body portion is also changing and if I click on profile, then you can see here profile is displayed. How to achieve this, that portion I will discuss today. Here I have created this project navigation bar qubit and after that in the pubspec.yml, I have taken the latest dependency of flutter block that is 8.1.6. Now let me move to main.dart. In main.dart, you can see that uh, this is our uh, main function which is calling the myapp widget. This myapp widget is a stateless widget and in the home property of material app, I am calling my home page which is also a stateless widget and here in the scaffold body, in the center, I have taken a text widget with the text navigation bar. If I save this or if I run the project, then you can see that this output is displayed. Now let me make changes here to bring that navigation bar. Here what I will do is that in this scaffold I will use bottom navigation bar and in the bottom navigation bar here I will use navigation bar. This navigation bar has destinations. Now here I need to create three destinations right. Now to create the destination here I need to use navigation destination. Now this navigation destination is taking an icon and a label. Now here I am taking the icon as let it be icon and here I will pass icons dot home outlined and in label let me pass the label as home and after that here I will use selected icon means whenever I will tap on that navigation destination then what will be the selected icon by default this home outline will be displayed but whenever I will click there at that time in the selected icon I will display icon and then icons dot home. So our first navigation destination is created. Let me save this and here what I will do is that I will simply copy this and let me paste it here two times. Now for the second one it will be let it be favorite outline and here it will be wish list and here I need to pass favorite. After that for the third one here I need to pass let it be person outline and here I will change the text from home to profile and let it be profile sorry not profile but actually person. So our three navigation destinations has been created. Now here I need to pass by default which navigation destination will be selected for that here I will use selected index and I will pass the value as 0 because the first navigation destination will have the index as 0, the second one will have 1 and the third one will have 2. Now let me refresh this and let me show you the output. Now you can see that home wish list and profile has been uh, created and in the body we have navigation bar text which I have displayed here right. Now here whenever I will click on wish list then I need to change that content here. For that I will create a qubit. So let me click here qubit and let me give the qubit name as navigation. Now inside the qubit folder it has created two files navigation qubit and navigation state. Now let me move to navigation state. In the navigation state here I will create 
a final class navigation state let me remove this immutable and inside this navigation state i will create a variable final int selected index and after that let me create the constructor navigation qubit and here i am passing required this dot selected in sorry this dot selected index it will be navigation state let me change this okay so our navigation state class has been created now let me move to navigation qubit now in the navigation qubit which is extending qubit and after that navigation state after that the constructor of navigation qubit is there now here i will use navigation state and in the initial value of selected index i will pass it as 0 now after that here i will create a method set selected index what it will take it will take a integer parameter integer index and whenever this function will be called what it will do it will emit a navigation state and here in the selected index i will pass the value as index which is passed to this set selected index function right now let me move to main dot dot actually let me remove this and let me import flutter block let me move to main dot dot now in this main dot dot i will wrap this my home page with block provider and this block provider here i need to pass the qubit name which is nothing but navigation qubit let me import the flutter block library and in the create here i will use navigation qubit fine now in my home page i will wrap this navigation bar with block builder and let me change it to navigation qubit and it will be navigation state now whenever i will tap on this at that time i need to call that set selected index method which i have created inside the qubit to do that here we need to use on destination selected what it will take it will take value sorry it will be value and this value will contain the index of the navigation destination and whenever i will tap here at that time i will call the set selected index method which i have created inside the qubit and to do that here i will write context dot read then here i will specify the qubit which we have created that is navigation qubit and with this i will call set selected index method and here i will pass value right and in selected index here i will use state dot selected index now i can click here and let me add const now it's fine or let me run this actually now in the output you can see when i'm clicking here at that time you can see that the navigation destination is changing but here in the body i need to change the text and to do that here inside the lib folder i have created three files home.dot 
which is nothing but a stateless widget and in the center i have displayed a text home similarly i have created a page wish list and in the center i have displayed wish list and in the profile i have displayed the text as profile simply i have created three files wish list profile and home now let me move to main dot dart once again now in the body what i will do is that let me remove this in the body here i will use block builder and here i will pass navigation qubit and navigation state now it has builder inside this builder here i will use a switch statement switch and after that here i will check if the state dot selected index is zero means in the case i need to write a zero if this case is zero then i need to return which page i need to return the home page let me import this similarly let me copy this case 1 case 2 if it is 1 then i will display what i will display wish list and if the case is 2 then i need to return what i need to return profile and if none of the case is matched then here i can use default and in the default i am returning a simple container that's it and i need to use const so click here add const modifier everywhere in the file now let me save this once i save this and let me show you the output now you can see the by default the home index is selected and in the body home is displayed this means the home page is actually displayed if i click on wish list then the wish list is selected and here in the body wish list is displayed and if i click on profile then you can see profile is displayed this is how we can create a navigation bar in flutter using qubit that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching